didn't fall out. Put in a better video. Oh, there you go. It falls dramatically to the ground. This is Greg with Fit4 Expedition and today we are starting on the back wall on the box van. That's right, the wall, the door that I took out, now there's a big gaping 88 inch wide by 72 inch tall opening and now we're going to put a wall there. The air conditioning units are going to go right here and I've got a window on order that's coming in that'll fit right there. Now I've done all this kind of work before, um, I, but it's been sticks and bricks work it's been on, you know, residential homes. Keeping this whole truck together after it's, you know, constructed, the interior, the walls, etc. You know, it's tricky. And it's kind of like building for a constant hurricane. Every time you drive down the road, you're creating this hurricane or earthquake. So, um, you know, it's a little different than your sticks and bricks construction. I took this door out and I still haven't put the wall in to replace it. And the reason for that is I've never done it before. So now I think I've actually got the plan. I think I've figured out what exactly I want to do with this wall. It's got to it's got to house a window. It's got to house air conditioning units that have to be supported and they What I'm doing here is I'm building a DIY glue lamb beam, kind of like you would use in a house as a header or something like that. So what I'm using to do this is Gorilla Glue. This is the cowling that we bought to go around our air conditioning units. We have two 5,000 BTU Frigidaire window units, but we're gonna adapt this, which is actually for a, you know, a system that they would have in a hotel room. Um, that's this size, 42 by, I think it's 16. But we are going to put two 12 by 15 air conditioning units inside of this. Right now, I'm just using this kind of as a template to hold this stuff in place so I get the uh, positioning correct. This is a bezel off the window, same size as the other bezel. 
Um, and so this is what we're using kind of to make sure our window's gonna fit. And this is where our window's gonna go. And see if I can. And there it is, that's gonna fit for sure. So the way that we mounted this wall in for the most part is we use these screws, these wonder screws. I call them wonder screws. Tex. So if anybody is looking for a way to mount the wall like this, these Tex screws, I had to use a paddle blade to get closer to the metal for my application on this particular part there's another part up here where you didn't have to do that because it's just one two by three so what's great about these screws is they will pierce the wood and then they also pierce metal they're for both they're for metal for wood and metal so now we're going to cut plywood to go on the surface of this. Eventually there will be fiberglass going on top of the plywood. Are you frosting the wall? Sniffing glue. Sniffing glue? This is all gorilla glued to keep the gorillas out. I mean, there's a little thing see. here. Well, I guess while you're, huh? I guess while you're right there. If you're trying to do that, there's several of those. So I applied some wood putty to the dips here and you can see this isn't dry. So we're just waiting for this to dry and while we're waiting, we're going to start on the installation inside. So I've got the Reflectix here.
and that's about how wide it's going to overlap too I think it's, it's a little less than that and then we're going to caulk on top of that keep any moisture from getting back there let's see if we might have to add some another layer or something yeah Starting here. Yeah. I think you need to hold it up a little bit. Oh, okay. Oh well, it didn't fall out. Put in a better video. Oh, there you go. It falls dramatically to the ground. Hey guys, if you like the videos that we post here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this particular video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, that would be great because I will definitely get back to you and share these videos with your friends if you think they would enjoy them. This has been Greg with Fit for Expedition. See you next time.